Beatles. Yes, she's an actress, a singer. She's the pride of Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Natalie Imbruglia. No, Betty, you can take the head off now. This <laughs> <laughs> is Betty the Bush guy. Hi, Betty. Oh, Betty, Hi, Betty, yes, she's waving. Hi. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, it's all about her. <laughs> <laughs> now, so you are, you've been away, but my God, yes. you're back big time. Uh, new album, White Lily's Island. Yes. And new single, Wrong Impression. Mm -hmm. Now, the 12 songs mm -hmm. on the album, four years. I know. <laughs> I know. Was it a lot of shopping? It looks, and... <laughs> it looks bad, doesn't it? No. I did take, I took a year off. I moved out to Windsor and took a bit of time off because I was a bit freaked out about going straight back in and, and also because of the pressure. I was really, really depressed a lot of the time and I was <laughs> single as well. So there's all that, you know. Stop. Sudden stampede. <laughs> <laughs> Single? Except there wasn't one. No, well, yes. <laughs> look at them. <laughs> no. no uh, famously, of course, uh, neighbours, and I do love. I do love the neighbours. Yeah. No, we do. I, I still, I still love them. And oh no. No, I just have to. Um, How you turn around there? I'm like. Don't know what's no, 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 no. I, I just. I, I'm, I, I can't thank this one enough. Josephine Monroe, top author, wrote Am I in Neighbors there? the first ten years. <laughs> I must be in there then. You are. Because I went to the tenth anniversary, so I'm sure I'm Look, there. there you are on the very last page. Oh my goodness, look at that. Looking very happy. But now you weren't shagging him, were you? No. No, you just shared a house with him. Everyone else though, I see. Towards the end, I kind of did Ramsey Street. <laughs> yeah. You did, didn't you? Yes. But it seemed, I don't say, I, it's unfair, it seemed a bit unlikely, it seemed a bit unlikely in terms of a storyline that you were cast as, <laughs> particularly in Australia, you were cast as a female oh. builder. Because um, <laughs> Look how chubby my cheeks are. Yes, you're fat as a fool in that picture, Natalie. <laughs> Uh, yeah. oh. <laughs> what were they? I still can't get my head around it. What were they thinking with the building thing? Um, I think they were actually trying to do a, a Charlene because you know she was a mechanic, and she was really popular. Kylie's character. Yeah. So they were like, oh, well, you know, builder, kind of similar. We said mechanic, bit of grease on the chairs. Yeah, I know. Good. That's quite sexy. That's a bit more sexy. Wheelbarrow, cement mixer. No, Not quite so the sexy. sexy. <laughs> I know. No. I actually quite liked it though because I'd rather have played more of a tomboy character than. A girly girl, you know. Fair I, enough. I quite like it. And, and that, for instance, now with Kylie and things, is, is there a kind of rivalry between you? or? No, kind of... actually. I'm a huge Kylie fan. I, mean, I love Kylie. Oh, no, no, I like Kylie too. The only thing I thought, is she kind of annoyed because you've done what she's always wanted to do? You know what I mean? You have broken America. I don't think she'd be annoyed at all. She's, her career's booming right now. I don't think she'd be annoyed at all. Fair enough. We'll ask her. <laughs> Now, uh, before, oh, go. before everything else, uh, you've done ads and things, haven't you? Yes. Now, I'm intrigued to know what the hell you're advertising there, Nashley. <laughs> Should I explain? Go on, I want to buy some. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's actually nothing to do with the bucket. It's the T-shirt I'm wearing says Twisties, and they're like... Good they're photograph. These really... I know. <laughs> they're these cheesy... Um, crispy things. I'm trying to think. I think you've got those, what are they called here? Twisty, cheesy things. They're like long. She's twist. She's a man twist. has really followed that too. Well done. I don't know what they're called, but you've got something similar. I like that. The twisty, cheese the cheesy, twist. the cheese twist. <laughs> oh, well, maybe you can get them here because we thought you might miss them. So um, I try. I got you some. You've actually, you know, I love twisties. I'm actually addicted to twisties and Tim Tams. Oh, 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 Tim Tams I have. You've got Tim, Tim Tams. Tim Tams, chewy caramel Tim Tams. Caramel ones. Got you those. I don't think I've tried caramel ones. <gasps> they weren't around when I lived in Australia. Oh, time's moved on. These are amazing. <laughs> have you heard about, there's a thing called a Tim Tam explosion. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I'd love it if you try it. What happens? It's orgasmic. Okay, let's but, try it. Then. But you need a hot cup of tea. Is there a hot cup of... Can we get a hot cup of tea? We'll get you up. Okay, okay. Yeah. Someone's got to get a hot cup of tea. So you hang on to your Tim Tams. Right. You hang on to your Tim Tams. And I'll... Because we, we found some other things that you can get. Australians love these, apparently. Um, a violet crumble. Violet crumbles. They're good, aren't they? Oh, the national pride in here tonight, they <laughs> said. Violet crumbles. <laughs> yeah. and, is this some sort of Australian joke? This is so weird you can buy these. Uh, and this is slightly political. Slightly, slightly right on, you know, political for this show. Uh, in Australia, you can go into a shop and buy Afghans. <laughs> So do buy them and send them to that place in send them to that place in Cuba, the prison camp, because they contain the delicious taste of home. <laughs> and, oh, we have hot tea. Let me just get some hot oh, tea. Fantastic. Oh, marvelous! Is it tea? It oh, it's tea. I prefer coffee, but for the purpose of the explosion. Oh, sorry. So this is now. Talk us through this. Okay. It's a Tim Tam explosion. explosion. Do you know about the Tim Tam? Yeah. See, it's a cult thing. So, so what do you do? Okay. So you bite off. Are we both going to? I think we should. Okay. <laughs> I think she's going to get everywhere. Oh, bugger, it doesn't matter. All right. Okay. So, um, you get your tea. Actually, this, you this, this to... Susan's so stained already. I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was clean when I put it on last night. <laughs> I don't know what happens. <laughs> you wear it once in a club and look at it. I can't clap. Okay. I'm sorry. So, no, no. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Focus, everyone. So. You have to bite off the top corner. Like that. Okay. Bitten. And then uh, diagonally the other corner. Like like Do you that. have television in Australia? <laughs> <laughs> How bored were you when you thought of this? Right. <laughs> okay. Very. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. And now you're going to use it like a straw. And you're going to drink the tea. And when, when you start to feel the tea come up the biscuit and it touches your lips, you quickly, because it's going to melt, Turn it around, put it in your mouth, and that's when it gets orgasmic, okay? Oh my god. So, so. <laughs> Ready? <Ooh. laughs> okay, okay. Should we do it on. together? Okay. Mmm! Mmm! <laughs> that is. Oh, my god! How good is that? I can't! Tell you, How television is such a limited medium. I can't. <laughs> that was fantastic. I've never done it with the caramel one. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, it beats onion rings on your cock. <laughs> that was delicious. It's good, isn't it? Mmm. Mm. Uh, now, uh, we, you know we do the web and all that sort of stuff. Yes. So we did search on you, and actually, in fairness, your um, search things all rather lovely. Really? Yes, it's all very kind of respectful fan sites and da da da. Really? But we did find this. Actually, we found this a while ago, and I just wondered: is this you, Miss Imbruglia? Uh, it's this notice board. It's a clothes fetish message board, right? And it's people who swap clothes and things. Uh, you know, things like, I'm auctioning off a pair of my red briefs, medium size, 32 to 34, bid start 50 to... By the way, I am straight. Hmm, now we want them. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, this is you. Now, well, I don't know. <clears throat> Natalie, right, right, there you are, bigpond.com. Comments. Hey, I'm a cute hottie from Sydney. I love trading pics with guys or gals of seriously creamed and wet crusty panties. It's Miss Imbruglia. <laughs> This way. Are you sure? I see what you've done with the biscuit. None. <laughs> no, definitely, definitely <laughs> not me. That was idle hand. Then <laughs> uh, I, I like this one, right? So there's a guy here, uh, Harley King. Uh, you freaks are sick, sick, sick. You make me vomit just reading this shit. <laughs> and then, the next, you can't win. Then the next person goes, Hey Bob, send me your puke-covered clothes, and I'll rub them on my cock. <laughs> <laughs> now, then, we found this, uh, Kim, and uh, she gets off on sweaty sports gear. Send me socks, sneakers, underwear, jock straps, soccer shorts, and I will send you an email and pics of how I use them, right? Mm. And uh, so we thought, well now, 
what the hell, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So, um, I, no, so I, I sent her some stuff. And, um, and then, sure enough, she emailed us back. Uh, thanks for taking the time to contact me. I can tell you I'm looking forward to playing with myself. Oh, God. Um, uh, as soon as I receive the package, I will email you some pics and things. But anyway, now, we haven't got pics. Incompetent cow. But, um, <laughs> but I can, I can phone her now, uh, Kim. And I could phone her on, and look, it's been a while since we've seen him. It's oh. doggy phone, he's back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, the doggy phone. But now... He's not a well dog. Oh, really? Head's a bit... He's a bit wrong. <laughs> No, he's Did a they bit, put him in the washing like machine? Doggy phone in the back of a car. <laughs> <laughs> We're not too happy with him. You're right, dog. This will perk him up. He's back. Well done. Right, so here we go. Uh, oh, I love that tea and biscuit. I'm doing that every week now. <laughs> um, it's really perked me up. Uh, <laughs> must have a lovely home. <laughs> a very hostess, wasn't it? That's good. Tea biscuit. Oh, hello, is that Kim? Yes, this is Kim. Oh, hello, it's um, Graham Norton here from in London. Oh, yes, yes, I've received your package. Oh, very good. Excellent, I'm glad I got there. Now, don't open it yet. So, I suppose I'm just kind of intrigued. So, you actually kind of like smelling the stuff. Oh, of course. Who wouldn't? I mean, you ask any woman honestly, and they'll tell you that, you know, guys' sweaty sports gear gets them hot and wet. My friend Natalie is shaking her head. She says no. You mean you have a girl there? Let me talk to her. Oh, that's surprising. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. You mean this doesn't turn you on? No, not really. Oh, I can't believe it. Until you've licked the sweat off a linebacker's cup, you haven't licked. Mmm. We'll bear that in mind, Kim. Um, so, now, very quickly, if you could uh, rustle up, if you get to my package now, and, and open oh. that. Oh, oh, yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! 